Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another gadget that I think you're going to really like. It's a portable power station from our friends over at TechOS that's the perfect size to bring along with you pretty much anywhere to keep all of your portable devices fully charged and operational. Now, anytime you're considering a portable power station like this, there are a few things you need to keep in mind to make sure you pick the right unit for your needs. And the first one is certainly capacity. This unit will deliver 300 watt hours of capacity, which I find to be the right size for a full day out in the field. Now, I know there are larger portable power stations out there that can deliver 500 watt hours, 600 watt hours, or even larger, and those are perfect if you're gonna spend a couple of days, say, on a camping trip, where you're setting up for a couple of days and you've got a lot of portable devices you wanna charge. Maybe you're running a TV, maybe you've got a fan in your tent, I don't know, but you're drawing more current. The larger ones are great for that. But if you're just heading out for a day in the field and you want to charge your tablet, your phone, your drone batteries, your camera, whatever, you need something a little bit smaller like this because when you think about it, to double the capacity of a power station like this, you've got to double the number of batteries, which essentially doubles the weight. And if you're taking a 500 watt hour unit out in the field with you and you're bringing it home after a day and it's still got 50% of the charge, you've essentially carried a whole lot more weight out in the field than you need. So a 300 watt hour is right in that Goldilocks zone of being perfect for a day out in the field and allows you to charge anything you bring out there for the most part and still have capacity left in the battery when you come home. The second thing you want to be aware of is a lot of the models out there don't have a lot of connection capabilities. This unit provides pretty much every connection you'll need to charge anything you're bringing out in the field. So it all starts with the DC or the AC side. So I'll start on the DC side. You have a standard DC connector here, which is just like in your car, it's a convenience outlet. That'll deliver 10 amps of current at 12 volts. So pretty much anything you plug into your car that's under 10 amps, you can plug in there. So if you're taking a drone charger with you for your batteries, you can use a car charger and plug it in the side. There are also two more DC outlets on there that you can plug in standard DC connections to and draw even more current out of those. You have two USB connections on it as well. There's a USB-C connection and a full-size USB-A. So if you're taking phones and tablets and cameras out that you're connecting up a standard cable to, you can connect up to the USB-A connection, which will deliver five volts at 2.4 amps, which is the highest amount of current that a standard USB-A port supports. The cool thing is the USB-C connection on there is also a PD or power delivery port, which means it's got the ability to look at the device you're connecting up to it and make adjustments as needed to both the voltage and the current to charge that device safely and quickly. The best part is it'll deliver 60 watts of capacity to that USB-C port, which means if you're bringing a laptop out in the field, a lot of these units won't deliver that type of uh, power to that particular USB-C port, so you can't really charge your laptop. With this one, you can connect up most laptops and charge your laptop with it as well, so that's pretty cool. On the other side, there's an AC port over here, which is 120 volts, 200 watts, 300 watts peak. So you can connect up TVs, fans, small appliances to it, and draw power out of that side. And you can use both of those at the same time, which is really impressive. Another thing you need to consider is the protections built into the unit because charging it's one thing and really what you've got is a really large power bank so you're throwing a bunch of electrons at it when you're home. Once it's fully charged, you're then connecting things up to it to draw those electrons back out and essentially transfer others to the batteries in your portable devices. So you need to be sure that it's protected when you're charging it so you don't overcharge the batteries and have some issues there and more importantly probably is that it discharges safely. So when you're connecting up devices to it, you wanna make sure that the $1,000 phone or the $1,500 drone you're connecting up to it doesn't get too much current or too much voltage where it might damage that product because those products are way more expensive than this portable power station. So having all kinds of protections built in around over temperature, over current, over voltage, uh, if there's a short circuit, it'll protect you against that. On both the input, adding electrons to it, and the output when you're delivering electrons to those devices is very important. The big thing too with the AC is having a pure sine wave output. A lot of the units that are out there have a modified sine wave, which means it's not really a perfect sinusoidal wave, so it's nice and smooth. And some electronics are very finicky about having a pure sine wave when you connect them up. So it's really nice to know this has a pure sine wave output on it, which guarantees that you're not gonna damage those goods. It also has regulated DC on the side. A couple other cool things they've built into it is it's got a light on the side, which has a couple of different modes. It's got a strobe mode and a really bright light. And that's handy if you're out, you know, kind of in the late afternoon and it gets it's a little bit dark, you can turn on the light if you've dropped something and find it, or if you need to connect something up to your phone or your tablet, the light's right there to use it. It also has two straps here, and included with the kit, I should have probably done that earlier, is the unit itself. They give you a nice shoulder strap with it, so you can carry it by the handle. It's got rubber feet on the bottom, so it won't skid on you. Or you can connect up the strap and carry it over your shoulder. It includes a power supply to charge it at home, an AC cord that you'll plug into any standard outlet. Plug this end into here, and you'll plug this into the side right over here to charge the unit. It takes about five hours to charge it. And I thought this was a really nice addition, too. They build in, or they include, I should say, 
a really nice, long, heavy-duty USB-C to USB-C cable, which allows you to charge most of your modern portable devices. And that was really nice they included that. Also, you'll find a user guide, a quick start guide, and a warranty card inside the case. So everything you see here is included with the kit. You basically open up the box, charge the unit. You can head out in the field and start charging your product. So I like it an awful lot. Now, next what I'm going to do is take a closer look at the unit to explain all the connections and buttons, give you the specifications for it, and then I'll come back and actually show you in action how it can connect up to different devices and what I like to charge with it. So stay tuned for the closer look and I'll be back with some final comments. Now I'll show you how you can use the TechOS portable power station to recharge all of your mobile devices at the same time. In front of me, I've got some of the portable tech that I take out in the field pretty much every day. And every one of these products I've recharged using the TechOS. Matter of fact, I've recharged a bunch of them at the same time and I'll show you to do that in a second. The unit has both a DC side and an AC side. All of these are charged through the DC side, and that connection is basically a battery to a battery, but the important part is the TechOS is smart enough to know that this may need a different voltage and current than this, and when you connect it up, the unit looks at it and determines really quickly what voltage and current it should send to that device to charge it quickly and safely. So it's smart and knowing what you're connecting up and adjusting as needed for those products. The AC side of it can deliver 200 watts of continuous power and 330 watts of peak power. So you can connect up 200 watt light bulbs to it at the same time and run both of those off the product. If you're connecting up something that's got a motor in it, maybe a drill or a blender or a fan, something like that, if you're out there camping, it's gonna draw a little bit more current as a surge when it first comes on and then settle down. This can support up to 330 watts of that surge current. So the AC side is pretty straightforward. I'll probably show you that first. So on the side of the unit, you've got a standard AC outlet. You can plug anything you want in there. The first thing you'll do is turn on the unit and then turn on the AC side by tapping that button. Then connect up whatever you'd like to connect up. I've got a lamp right here and I'll turn it on. Now again, you can connect up 200 watt incandescent bulbs. One of the little tricks I'd like to pass along to you is I'm using an LED bulb here, which is 60 watts but it casts a lot more light than 60 watts can generate. But the key thing is it draws a whole lot less current. So you're getting all the illumination you get from incandescent bulb, but you're using less current, which means this is gonna last a lot longer. So always go with an LED bulb or one of those high efficiency bulbs. All right, so let me turn that off. Now I'll show you the DC side. Now on the DC side, you have a couple of different connections. You have a standard 12 volt outlet here, and I'll show you that in a second. You also have two USB connections on the bottom, a USB-C and a full-size USB-A. Now some of these products I can connect directly to the USB-A using the standard cable, and I'll do that first. So let me pull up the iPhone cable. I've got two cables here. One of them is a USB-A to Apple connection. So if I wanna charge my phone on this, I'll plug this into the USB-A connection right here. I'll turn the unit on, make sure that it's on, and connect this up to my phone. And you can see the minute I do that, it starts charging. So that's a great way to charge your phone. I can also, at the same time, use the USB-C connection and charge something else. So for example, if I'm out flying my drone and I've got my Mavic Air 2 controller, I can connect this up to the USB-C connection. You can see it's starting to charge right there. Everything's good to go. What's really nice about this though, is that it's a PD delivery, like I mentioned earlier, which means it's power delivery and it can sense the voltage and current needed for that particular product and adjust the voltage up as needed to give you that quick charge on the unit. So one of the challenges I've had with my smart controller is a lot of the portable power stations don't have that PD functionality, which means this is gonna charge really slowly. But Watch this. This unit, because it can support 60 watts over that USB-C connection, watch those LEDs. See how fast they're going? I went from regular charge to fast charge, so I love this because when I'm out in the field using my smart controller, this thing can send electrons to it really quickly and charge it back very fast. Now, you can also charge other devices. For example, if you've got an action camera with you, this charges through USB-C as well. You can plug that in and you're good to go. So essentially, you can charge two products at the same time. But additional to that, you can also turn on the other AC or DC port right here. Oops, that's the light. Okay, so there's the light. But turning on this DC port by hitting that button there allows me to use, say, a car charger with it. So right here, I've got a car charger for my Mavic Air 2 batteries. And when I plug that in, it's just like plugging it in my car. So I can plug it into the top unit right here. You can see the green LED comes on and then I can charge this battery. Now you wouldn't think you could charge the battery because the battery is a higher current. This should turn red in a second, as soon as the battery kicks in. Now it's charging. Okay, so that's turned red, and you can see the battery's charging. So what's beautiful about this 
is that essentially I've got a 12 volt outlet charging a battery with a higher potential on it. And that's all handled by this, this uh, car charger right here. So plugging that in allows me to at this point charge up to two batteries at the same time, which is pretty cool. In addition to my controller, my phone, my portable camera, whatever I want to charge, all of that's possible at the same time. In addition to that, there are two more DC ports up top here that I can use standard cables to charge other things if I want to. So for me, having this portable power station in the field kind of gives me everything I need where I've got DC connections as if it was in my car or I've got a home charger connected or even AC connections if I want to hook up a fan or a light or if I want to use maybe a home charger to charge multiple batteries at the same time. So it really gives you a lot of choice when you're connecting things up inside the unit to charge pretty much anything you want to take out in the field. So it's a really cool product from that perspective. Now, one other thing I want to show you is you can actually modify the cabling you're using to charge even more stuff. So for example, let me disconnect this real quick. We've got two ports on here, which limits how many things I can charge at the same time. But we've designed a cable called the Hydra cable, which has a USB-A connection on one end and three USB-C connections on the other end, which allows you to basically plug in one unit. Let me disconnect this guy. Plug in one cable, USB-A over here, and then have three adapters on the end that are all USB-C active at the same time, which means I can essentially charge this controller, this camera, and even my smart controller at the same time. All three of those plug into one outlet. So what it does is it amplifies or expands, I should say, the number of things you can plug into a single outlet. Now you couldn't do that before because you'd have a one-to-one -one relationship. Here you have a one-to-three relationship, which allows you to charge all three at the same time. Now you might be thinking, well, that's kind of cool if everything connects over USB-C, but what if I've got an iPhone? I can't actually connect up an Apple device over USB-C. Well, in that kit, we also include some adapters right here. One of those is an Apple adapter. So you could take one of these, let's say this one, put this on the end of it, which converts the USB-C to an Apple connector, and you can plug your phone in. Whoops, you gotta plug it in though, Rick. There you go. Plug it in, it's gonna charge your phone. So essentially, you've got sort of a Swiss army knife of charging here, where it's USB-A on one end, and USB-C on the other end, with adapters that can convert it to Apple, or to micro USB, so you can charge anything portable with it. In addition to that, the other end is USB-A, but let's say, for example, you wanna plug into the USB-C port, but well, you can't do that because it's a USB-A connector. We also include this one, which converts USB-A to USB-C, so you can plug that in here and charge all these devices off the USB-C connection if you choose to do that. And this cable is just something that is sort of eliminates all the hassle of bringing 15 cables with you to charge a bunch of different devices. But more importantly, it allows you to charge three devices at the same time. Now we have a single cable like this as well. This is the Hydra cable. This kit comes with a USB-A on this end and three USB-Cs on the other end, and the three adapters you need to convert this to a USB-C and these to either an Apple or a Micro or leave them as a USB-C. We also make a single cable that's USB-C to USB-C that includes these adapters as well. And that's perfect for using that top connector because you can plug it in here the other end is a USB-C, and you can convert that to anything else you want. So if you only want to bring one cable with you out in the field, bring that universal cable, plug it in here for the USB-C, and you have all the adapters you need to plug in anything on the other end. So just a couple of tricks we use to sort of expand what I'm charging, because I mentioned before I can charge a bunch of these at the same time. I use a Hydra cable to do that. That's pretty much all I had for today, so I hope you found this clip helpful. I like this unit an awful lot because I feel like it's a perfect balance between capacity and weight where I can take it with me for a full day and recharge everything I need to charge in the field and not bring it home with 50% of the capacity left. I know I can bring a bigger unit, but then I'm dragging this cinder block along and I'm bringing it home and it's still got 50 or 60% of the charge. It's just too heavy. So this one's perfect because it's portable and it's got every possible connection I could need to charge anything I'm bringing out there in the field. Now, if you have any questions about anything I've covered, drop that in the comments below. I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I've got a ton more clips coming, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to be here to see a lot of the high-tech stuff we're going to be reviewing. And I know this isn't a drone, but I'm expanding the channel to talk about other high-tech gear that I use, that I've had out in the field for a couple of months and I really enjoy, and hopefully it's giving you information so you better understand these products. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.